Yo, what is up, Vico Gang? And I'm here with Bleach Rebirth of Souls once again, of course, especially right now after we got literally the best trailer ever, dude. Uh, holy moly, I am still ecstatic about that trailer. The song in this trailer is phenomenal. It's a fantastic song. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to discuss who in the heck is going to be in this season pass, dude. Who are going to be the new DLC characters in Bleach Rebirth of Souls? And I have a couple of picks here that I think are, oh, I think they'll be interesting. I think we'll see. Well, you'll have to see why I picked out who might be DLC characters and how this may or may not work, how this uh, season pass will work, how these DLC characters will work. So like and sub for more of this type of stuff. I'm going to do a tally up thing soon of the, you know, total playable characters at the end of the year type B and, you know, just leading up to this freaking crazy looking game, dude, because this trailer was fantastic in my personal opinion. Anyways, bang. So I got the trailer pulled up here. All right. And it seems like we're going to get what I think is going to be four characters. Okay. Four characters. And I've gotten a couple of comments, you know, asking or, you know, wondering, are we going to get maps? Not maps. Um, freaking like story, story DLC as well. Like full bring story or thousand year blood war story. They haven't said anywhere in this entire, like, deluxe and ultimate edition kind of like announcing announcement thing right here and all these shown here are dlc character playable characters okay and i also had a thought of the back of my mind is like are these only four characters like is this going to be one two three four characters or are these going to be like bundles of characters you know what i mean like at least two maybe three characters in each of these slots but i'm just gonna stick to four characters for now okay i'm gonna stick to four characters for now so to make this a little easier because i think it i think it being bundled characters like you know at least two maybe three characters in each of these slots that would be really awesome but i'm not banking on that you know i'm not gonna expect that i don't know i, I just find it a little unrealistic right so who are these four characters going to be and there is reason why i did bring up that like bundled character idea because i think these characters i'm about to show off right now could make a lot of sense as a bundled like character like a dlc type b thing okay so i think my first pick for DLC number guy, number guy, number one is going to be Ginjo. I think Ginjo is, I think almost like a slam dunk in my opinion. I think this is free and he will be a DLC character. I think it is. I think it's, I think, I think he's, 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 he's a, kind of a shoo in my opinion. I think he's kind of a shoo in as a DLC character. I do think Ginjo is pretty cool. You know, obviously, you know, he's like this, but I'm not sure. Will he have like a costume or maybe even like a, will he, oh, oh will he be a reawakening character? Cause he can start out like this. Right in his base mode, you know what I mean? With the, only his sword and his normal attire. And then boom, he goes, quote unquote, like Shikai, I guess. You know, stolen, uh, stolen, you know, power Ichigo mode, whatever this is, right? He, he gets stronger and stuff, right? I think he looks cool as hell, by the way, when he's actually like in this uh, state right now. He does look really cool, in my opinion. So he goes into this and then reawakens into Bankai here. I think, that, I think that'll work really well, actually. I think that can work really well or Ginjo here, base into, you know, Shikai into Bankai. I think that'll be really sick. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. So I think, oh, is this supposed to be Shikai, by the way, guys? Or is this supposed to be base and he just, like, jumps to Bankai? I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm just I'm just going to assume this is base. You know, big quotes here, Shikai. And then he does, you know, he does straight up yell Bankai when he does this. So I, I, I wouldn't mind Genjo at all, personally, guys, no. Since they said, I think, I keep getting, like, you know, comments here and there that people are not really sure on where this game is going to stop at. But, chat, I'm pretty sure it is made, they said, like, the moment this game was revealed, that it was going to go up till the end of the Aronka arc, I'm pretty sure. You know, they're, like, they're not going to go Thousand Blood War, they're not stopping in the middle of the Aronka arc, like, they are going to the end of the Aronka arc. You know what I mean? Especially now they show freaking Aizen. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Aizen in that attire, you know, obviously, like, iconic Aizen, you know what I mean? How he looks, you know, his iconic Aizen look. He doesn't do anything in that appearance until, like, literally, like, like 60, 70% through the Iran card, you know, in the Karakura Town arc. That's when he actually starts doing stuff, you know? I'll find it really weird if they just stopped in the middle of the Iran card. But, yeah, they're not, they're not going past that. Story mode wise in the base game at least. So I do think though, we also may or may not get Wolverine Ichigo. This Ichigo looks so sick in my opinion. You know, it's both Shikai and Bankai. I think they both look really sick. Maybe this could be a costume though. Like I wouldn't honestly mind if this is a costume of some sorts, like of over like, obviously, you know, base uh, Ichigo, you know, base Shikai Ichigo. I don't know why I said base Shikai. You know what I mean? Shikai into Bankai Ichigo. That's already in the game. So I can easily see that thing about it now. 
but you know he is a lot stronger right in this full bring mode so now thinking about it i think he might just be a skin or a costume we'll have to see because i would I, you know i don't think we will get full bring story though honestly well, are we i don't know man because not a lot like at least like like action wise not a lot ha I, I i like the full bring art chat I, i'll i'll be honest with you i actually kind of i really like the full bring art i think it's actually a really good art but not a lot of stuff happened but they are going crazy though you saw the same trailer i did right they went insane on the cutscenes in this uh trailer dude in this trailer dude they showed a lot of cutscenes i didn't even expect them to do like them escorting rukia you know various other ones like you know like involving like the, like nemu and mayuri and like soy fun like they went nuts with that dude so maybe they will do freaking full bring story i don't know that is definitely a question though for sure is if they're gonna do full bring story or thousand year blood war story or something dlcs oh and apparently i did hear i did hear that they're gonna there's gonna be like original content in this game from kubo like kubo is gonna write it himself into this game holy moly i wonder what that could entail but you know i'm not gonna you know like stick on that for uh for now honestly because i'm just more worried about the dlc characters right here so honestly i think first one might be ginjo and i was thinking at first second one might have been full bring ichigo but now i'm thinking about it and i'm like i don't know now so there kind of goes one of my predictions but i was thinking who could they put from the like a wrong like you know we're up there going to in this game you know to the end of the wrong arc are they going to omit someone and make them dlc that would kind of suck dude i'm not gonna lie like if let's say for some reason like i'm really anticipating this character what if they just put stark freaking kai Coyote Stark as a DLC character. That would kind of suck because I don't know who else in like full bring would warrant a DLC character, but I have been hearing you guys also say that it might be a movie character. And I'll be honest, chat, I haven't watched the movies besides Hellverse. I'll be honest. But you guys did point out maybe like Dark Rukia. You know, I don't I, I don't know what that entails, but I've seen her obviously and she looks really cool. She looks really cool. Rukia with a scythe. Fun fact with Rukia and a scythe, by the way, you, if you know, you know, it's B, it's not that crazy, but like, you know, you know, you know, there's that. And then also, and then and another possibility you guys pointed out is like, maybe it can be a filler character you know what you guys said um masamura or something like that Masum, i think that's his name i guess he's like the zanpakuto spirit guy and he, he's the one who essentially causes the zanpakuto rebellion arc right which i haven't watched you know but i hear it's actually a really good arc and if, if i'm gonna watch an arc a filler arc it should be that one if i'm gonna watch one and i do plan to soon actually but um that's besides the point i think i'll be kind of cool you know let, let's say the second guy is a filler character or a movie character okay let's say let's just say genjo first dlc character second dlc character movie villain character or something or filler villain character imagine he's the bount one <laughs> imagine the second person is a, the bount guy i haven't watched the bount art i hear uh mostly negative things about the bount art but apparently some people think it's actually not that bad um i was actually trying to watch it a while ago but um, i might just stop i don't know but <laughs> that would be really funny though imagine bount guy as the freaking dlc no they wouldn't do that i think you'll probably make him cool actually but that will be not hype I'll be honest, right? So maybe that Masamura guy could be the second character or like one of those filler antagonists, maybe as a second DLC character. I can definitely see that, honestly. I think be, it'll, it'll be pretty cool, honestly, if you think about it. I think that'll be really cool. Kind of set like a interesting precedent, in my opinion, right? Maybe, maybe, who knows, right? So let's say second person filler or movie character, okay? Wh whether it's Masamura, whatever that guy's name is, and um, or Dark Rukia, or even maybe Hell vs. Villain guy, which I thought he was all right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was fine, I guess. But I don't know. And maybe we can get... Ooh! That freaking crazy form Ichigo gets. Like that, like... Like that hell guard, like... Crazy form, whatever that is. I might have cooked. Chat, I might have cooked. What if that's what if that's a DLC character? Like, again, you can put in the same, like... Kind of like a category of movie character, right? I don't know. We'll see. Now, for the last two characters... You know, I'm, I'm gonna throw... I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a Hail Mary here and say it might be a thousand year blood war character and specifically a stern ridder or stern ridders mm. and one of them honestly i wanted to hold up could be yuha bach yuha bach i think one of them could be yuha actually honestly i think these don't really have a particular order what if the first guy is yuha like straight up what if is yuha like straight let's like straight freaking up dude because i think you can make a whole move set before he gets the almighty all right in my opinion so what if like one of these is Ginjo, movie slash filler character, Yuha, and another Stern Ritter. But who would be the other Stern Ritter though? Who has done enough in Thousand Year Blood War as of right now to warrant a character? Like maybe Bambietta or no. May I like I don't think it will be one of the Bambies either. You know, uh, we haven't seen Askin do a whole lot in the anime, because that that is something you guys have to consider that a lot of the time they don't do this stuff yet in the, the freaking games. 
unless like the anime is like caught up. You know, I mean, that's why in like Dragon Ball games, you don't see like the crazy forms yet or the, you know, newer villains or even in Nar I don't know if you guys. Well, Naruto was an interesting case because in Storm 4, they, they're the ones who actually got to adapt the manga first before the anime. I remember I vividly remember that, but I know that's the case for Dragon Ball. And it probably is the same case with friggin Bleach right now. But yeah, I don't know. A lot of these Stern Raiders, they, they did all right. Like even back here, Kilge, Quilge, Kilge. Right, he he he's he was pretty cool, you know. Hashwalt hasn't done a whole lot yet in the anime, you know. Leo just now is starting to do stuff, you know, a lot of stuff actually. Pernita just started doing stuff, so honestly, it's kind of hard to pinpoint who would. Oh, I think Bambietta might be kind of sick. Hold up, let me cook. If she like, for some reason, like brings out the Bambies in her attacks, that would be kind of cool. But I don't know how would you guys feel about that. Like, I think you guys would probably like maybe like Candace and like maybe. Giselle as their own characters, which I don't blame you, but I don't know. That's just a thought. Or, oh, this little jobber in the back. Freaking, I don't, I don't know. I can't zoom in for some reason, chat, but Grammy. This is Grammy, I'm pretty sure, right here. Oh, Grammy. Mmm, Grammy. I think, okay. Top two contestants or contenders, I think, now. I'm thinking about it. I'm not thinking about Mass Day, Mass Day Masculine. If you guys like Mass Day Masculine, cool for you, but uh, I don't know about Mass Day Masculine. Um, he's fine, but. I would rather have Bambietta or just um just have a Grammy as a as a fourth character maybe. I think that'll be kind of sick. I think that'll be kind of sick. Just saying, just saying. I think that'll be kind of sick. All right, so boom. Ginjo one, two movie or filler character, like you know like a prominent one. Three Yuha, four a Stern Ritter. Mmm. They're probably not in, in no particular order honestly. I think uh, I think but I think the Stern Ritter I said. I think are higher chances because like you're not gonna see this guy. You know, you're not gonna see no 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 no. You know, you're not gonna see King Dude. Like you're just not gonna see them. You know, you're not gonna see Robert. Like you're not. You know what I mean? Like tell me what Stern Ritter you would like to see. And that we've seen a good amount in the anime as of right now. As as of when you're watching this video in the anime so far. Okay. Let me know. Let me know. Like cause there's a lot of you know, I'm I'm be straight I'm gonna be honest, guys. Bums. Okay, bums. Okay? Like these guys back here, bums. You know what I mean? This guy, kind of a bum. You know, the, this guy, a bum. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't say the the, the twins over here are bums because one of them will strip you off for a bit, but like, no, right? <laughs> if it was up to me, I would really like Hashwalt because Hashwalt, like, I, I really like his design. I really like his whole personality and everything, personally. Or Lil, Lil Lily, however you say his name. That would be sick too, but we just haven't seen enough from them, honestly. So I think Bambietta with like uh bambi assist will be kind of sick how we've seen with already with nell and mayuri you know nell has dondo chaka and peshe and freaking mayuri has nemu right that'll be kind of sick that'll be kind of sick or like i was saying before grammy i think grammy will be really sick as well but we're just gonna see i think people were kind of freaking out too that we didn't get like kamamura or something in the trailer but i think they'll show them okay there's no way they're gonna make Kamamura, the DLC. Okay, I think we are going to see him in the base game. Okay. Oh, oh, and also some of you guys were also saying maybe like Tosin, like Holify Tosin or like the like Resurrection Tosin, Resurrection Tosin, you know, in his ugly bu bug form. But I don't know because you see Tosin right here, dude. Excuse me. You see Tosin right here in his Aronkar outfit. So I don't know. Maybe there's a skin though, maybe. I don't know. That would be sick though because I do like that look a lot. For Tosin, but I, I don't know. That is definitely something I just remembered right remembered right now. Ginjo, maybe yeah, Tosin, Holify Tosin into Yuha into Stern Ritter or Stern Ritter into Yuha. You know, like you can mix, mix mix and match the order here in my opinion. But I think they kind of need to start off with like a semi bang. You know, I mean maybe I think like I said, Ginjo will be a good one and, and Yuha I think will be a good bang. You know, and then the rest can. But I don't know. Then the last one also had kind of has to be a bang too, right? Mm. So it's definitely, definitely an interesting situation doing, I think we have here, guys. So anyways, I think that's going to do it for this episode, this episode, this video. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. Who do you think will be one, at least one of these characters for DLC? You know what I mean? If you have, you know, a whole, like, the whole season pass, the whole thing, like, or, or uh, 
figure it out for yourself you know tell me you know i mean i'm interested in what you guys think what you think will be a dlc character in this game keep in mind this goes up until the iran car arc you know i know yes they are giving out thousand year blood war outfits so that's why you know i'm feeling a little more confident in maybe thousand year blood war characters as dlc i don't know about story i don't know about story and if we do maybe up to like core three at the most you know what I mean? Maybe up to core three at the most. But I think I would much rather have like either it's like a like a crazy expansion or a whole nother game. But then it's kind of like we're already waiting for this game and that'll be kind of weird until like already anticipate anticipating a new game already. And we haven't had this game out yet. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I, I'm not a fan of that like mindset, but I think that is definitely a possibility. But yeah, l let me know what you guys think is going to be in these in this season pass here. Playable characters, if they're going to maybe even put story DLC, which I'm not hoping for. I'm not banking on that, by the way. I'm just hoping for characters. OK, but anyways, guys, let me know. And has been yours truly freaking Vigo and I am freaking gone. Now! Yeah.